a multiplayer game in Microsoft Word. Is it possible? All right, boys, this one's not gonna be easy. Let's get it started. Yo, office. Please stop, you've gone too far. All right, just let me slap some socket IO magic in here and we should be good. So you can see here, the clients are communicating with the server now. Don't let the jump cuts fool you. This took me like four hours to figure out. All right, now they're talking to each other. Sweet. All right, next up, we need to get some visuals in here. What's up, my dude? You wanna turn these into base 64 for me? All right, we'll just paste this wall of text here. There we go, ready to fight. We'll use the same logic from the fruit drop video to get them moving, and we'll add a little bit of kick in. Honestly, that's a pretty nice move set. Let's get the second player in here. Fun fact, this kick animation has to call three other functions to work because Microsoft Word, you know? Wait, what? You trusted me a second ago, what the hell changed? This is something I said. Problem is, this table resizes when you move, so everything just shakes everywhere, which is obviously a feature and not a bug. It emphasizes the weight of the character's movement. Right now, if you try to enter an enemy cell, this happens. So I'm just gonna add in uh, easy collision check before we move on to networking everything. Okay, you can't really tell anything's happening, but it's working much better now. For the sake of time, I'm gonna take an extremely naive and simple approach to networking where I'm just gonna send actions as ints followed by the client ID. It ain't pretty, but it works. Networking this is actually kind of confusing because the character you play as is always on the left, meaning I have to network the inverse of your opponent's screen. Does that make sense? Does that? Does that make sense? To be honest, the hardest part of this whole video is gonna be fitting everything on the screen at once. All right, sweet. Our game is officially multiplayer. All right, for the health bar, I'm just gonna put it below them because I already get first about a million times. And I'm kind of lazy. Gosh, it even looks like it has a refill animation. That's so freaking cool. I wanna take a break and get the background set up for later. Oh, look at that. The nice boys at Capcom uploaded the perfect backdrop to use on their Twitter. Thanks, Capcom. Okay, we can use the same watermark method that we used in the fruit drop video to get this backdrop in here, I think. Not great. But with some tweaks, it, it could work. Honestly, if we just kind of hack it together like this, that should, that should make it work. Wow, that actually works so well. Damn, I'm good. Okay, that was fun. Back to the hard stuff. I'll just bind the take damage function we made to the punch just to test it. All right, sweet. Looks like it's working. For the enemy, I gotta make the health bar go the other way. <laughs> Big brain. The fact that this actually all works so well astounds me. Also, it's probably time to network the punching because it's looking a little weird without it. Okay, it's working, but there's quite a bit of latency even on localhost, which would be horrible for a real fighting game, but we'll let it slide for the video. Now we just need some way to die, but I don't wanna just have some lame game over screen. I'm gonna try to do a cool death animation where he kind of gets popped up and then like falls to the ground. You know, I'm never, never mind. I don't feel like fixing this. There, you disappear when you die. Okay, so the win-loss text works, but it needs more for sure. All right, that is looking much better. All right, this is freaking awesome. In theory, I could upload the server to AWS and everything would be good to go as is. Source code for this project can be found on Patreon. Special thanks to Grant, Heather, and Alex who are supporting already. That being said, I will catch you guys in the next one. See ya.